what's up guys welcome back to the channel i hope you all are having a good one we're kind of just having a little casual round talking today we're gonna be talking about isaac robinson and how he's literally a beast and that he very slowly is turning into the new chris dickerson which is exciting to see in real time so we're just gonna be out here playing a few holes and just jabbing a little bit so let's just get right into it we're starting in hole 17 for the video but in reality there's just a bunch of people chilling on hole one and I'm scared of people, so we're gonna go mind bender here. It's probably a really dumb mistake. We're gonna go right in the middle. Flip. No flip. That's a putt though. I suck at putting, but who knows? Now, if you've been in the disc golf for a minute, you know the true difference between Prodigy Chris Dickerson and Discraft Chris Dickerson, because Discraft Chris Dickerson is still new to his discs. But Prodigy Chris Dickerson was an absolute dog. I gotta get used to putting with a camera. I get really nervous. Anyways, Chris Dickerson has always been the wood specialist. That's like his best part of his game. He's not as good in the open as he is in the woods. It's historically proven. But when looking at Isaac's game, he's kind of the same as Dickerson in the woods. Just absolutely tears lines, shreds the course. Because, I mean, if you look at both Idlewild and Champions Cup, Isaac just, there's no one gonna, there's no one able to beat him when he's in that zone. Because when he's in his zone, he's not missing putts. He's hitting all of his lines. He's just making the game look super, super easy. We got a 540-foot par 4 here. The basket's all the way down on the left side over there. There's water way over here. Definitely don't want to go in there. Throwing a wraith here. Oh, that's a great shot. All right, let's see what we can do from there. As a prodigy hater, I can successfully say watching Isaac throw in the Champions Cup has made me want to buy and try out some prodigy discs so i might be coming out with a video here soon just looking at some prodigy molds it'd be interesting to kind of revisit it and see how their plastic really is all right the drive measured in around 400 something feet but here we are a little chip shot just i mean just short enough for me to shank it so just kidding we're good next hole here 227 feet Water all along the left side. Water probably like 10 feet behind the basket. So you really got to pick your power and just kind of hit it well. To even add to the case, they're both Southern boys. I mean, Dickerson's from Tennessee, Isaac's from Georgia. Just some Southern guys playing some Southern golf. Just 325 feet. This kind of sucks for filming because it's raining the trees over there. Missed the tree. Should be pretty good. Just at the very least, that Isaac and Chris's games have some similarities because to me, they really do. Both like slow, methodical players, play well in the woods, just make good decisions and play smart, clean golf and shoot very low. I think maybe the reason I suck at putting is because I always say I suck at putting before I step up to a putt. It's something to think about, you know? Got that one. All right, it's a full forehand rip for me. That is so sad. That was actually a pretty stinking good shot. I wonder since both Chris and Isaac are from the south like i said a couple holes ago if they have like a more of an advantage in the woods because obviously it's, those are more of like woodsy areas this sucks Ugh, we're risking the sweatpants mm. all right we got a big par four here 565 feet you want to land up by the dead tree in the middle kind of and then you're gonna be throwing across some water to the basket but let's try to see if you can do it Stay up. Great, great shot. That's my worst. That's my worst part of my game. What are your guys' favorite?
kind of courses to play there but do you guys like more of the open courses or the wooded courses i'm definitely more of a wooded course kind of guy pretty far shot oh, i fucking i yanked it good distance though good distance step eligible birdie would be sweet on this hole let's see what we can do no oh wow uh, I thought it was low the whole way. And the old Dickerson step putt. I also wish I could put like Isaac Robinson. He's making it like 90% of the time. I wish I could do that. Last part of the day. There we have it. All right guys, there we have it. We played some holes with my own bag down here. I had a lot of fun. I know we kind of strayed away from the topic there, but I'm not used to recording myself and telling stories at the same time, but I will get better as time goes on. So if you want to see me get better over time and you want more of these videos, hit that subscribe button down there. Um, I'm gonna be coming out with a lot more videos here soon. Definitely another one I'll be recording within the week and then have that one out whenever, but yeah. So if you guys did enjoy it too, hit the like button. You know what to do. But yeah, I will see you guys in the next video. Peace.